My name is Erica Ruth Kelly, and I'm the Activate Learning Project Coordinator for ABC Life Literacy Canada. ABC Life Literacy Canada is a national nonprofit literacy focused organization, and the Activate Learning program focuses on empowering the unique population of Newfoundland and Labrador. In terms of services, we offer workshops and resources, and everything is completely free on different kinds of essential skills and literacy skills training. So essential skills like reading and writing and strategies for those, how to do them effectively, essential skills like adaptability, time management, stress management, health literacy, like how to find a doctor in Newfoundland or mental health resources, and then financial literacy, like budgeting, how to find a bank, and does money make you a happier person? The Activate Learning Program is offered completely online for the time being. That being said, um, in the future times when things are a little bit better and safer, we are going to be offering in-class um, sessions, so in-class workshops. We're going to be going to different people's community centers or employers, so those could be restaurants, those could be accountants, um, any, any place that would like to have us to have this training for their staff or for their learners, we're going to be able to be there in different capacities. We offer these services across Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, and so because we're doing everything virtually, basically anybody who is in the province um, who would like to have any of these workshops or any of these resources can reach out to us and we can make it work, um, which is kind of, I guess you can say a silver lining of everything that's happening right now um, because we've moved to an online model. Our clientele really runs the gamut. So sometimes it's community learning center, um, like Stella Circle or the Murphy Center, and sometimes it's an employer. So that could be, um, like I mentioned, an accountant, that could be um, a restaurant, a hotel. Um, and so we really are working with pretty much anybody who wants to have access to increasing their foundational knowledge of essential skills and literacy training. Our work would be pretty impossible without our community partners. And so, yes, we work with quite a few of them, um, both in St. John's and throughout the province. I'm happy to say a lot of different organizations that serve newcomers, that serve women, that serve indigenous peoples, um, that serve people who have different barriers to employment. Um, maybe they are unemployed or underemployed. And so we work with all these different people to help us kind of get the word out that it's okay to not know certain things. It's okay that maybe you need different support in different things. And also to send the message that there's really no cookie cutter learner. There's really no cookie cutter way of learning about something. So again, we're trying to eradicate that stigma that some people have um, about, about themselves when it comes to learning certain things. And so we're hoping that we can break that barrier and just open people's minds and hearts to the idea that learning is great at all times. We're hoping that we develop lifelong learners who can grow in confidence. A couple of our latest projects that I'm really, really excited about is that we got to do some training with some students from Memorial University from their internationalization office who are working with newcomers to Canada. And they were able to, after doing this training, give some of our Activate Learning workshops themselves. And so I was really able to spread that information throughout the community, give them the experience of workshop facilitation, and then sharing that knowledge. And now, now they know how to do it and they can keep doing it if they so choose. And it's just fantastic. Um, another fantastic project that we have is with the St. John's Board of Trade. Um, we have been working with them on a workshop series for their members. So we've been looking at different essential skills and um, soft skills so that we can share those among their members and give everybody, again, access to not only a situation where you can learn a lot, but it can offer a lot of um, team building and a lot of kind of understanding that maybe right now you're dealing with stress. Maybe right now you're not feeling very motivated and it's okay. Other people are as well. So there's kind of that good first step of realizing you're not alone and then offering different kinds of solutions or strategies to help you deal with those kinds of things.